Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm gonna to react to the best grilled cheese in New York City. Now, this one kind of has a uh, uh, a place in my heart because when I was in secondary school, they used to serve um, like a selection of hot snacks at break time. Break time was between uh, 10.45 and 11. And one of them was a cheese toasty. That's what we call them here, where it was basically a grilled cheese, but uh, you could have, you could put, you could ask for ham or bacon with inside it. I would just get straight up cheese and uh, it was delicious. So as someone who is a fan of grilled cheeses, it's gonna be fun to see what the ones in New York look like, how they stack up compared to the ones at my secondary school. So yeah, this should be a fun one. Let's do it. Oh, look at the stretchiness. Look at the gooiness. Looks like mozzarella. Oh. Wow. Oh. Well, I'm lactose intolerant a little bit, but there's nothing that will stop me from eating cheese. Nothing. <laughs> we are on the streets today in New York City to ask other people what their favorite go- <laughs> Is she really tall or is she kind of small? Cheese places. Let's go. Does anyone want to tell me what their favorite grilled cheese? Anyone want to talk about cheese? Anyone want to tell me about their favorite, favorite grilled, favorite grilled cheese? What's your name? Sam. Hi, Hi Sam. Sam. We are filming a video about the best grilled cheese in New York City. Do you have a favorite? Murray's grilled cheese. Murray's grilled cheese. Yeah. Is favorite. All right, guys. It one for Murray. It looks amazing. We've been out here for about. 30 it looks really minutes. similar to the one I used to have as well. Person. I have asked a few nope. people. Excuse me. Do you want to talk about the best grilled cheese in New York City? Do you? Do you? <laughs> no, it does not. Do you guys want to talk about grilled? No, that was immediate retraction. My favorite grilled cheese in New York City is Clinton Hall. It's like a donut with wow. cheese. I mean, it's sweet and salty. Like, why not? Beecher's is my favorite because their grilled cheese melts in your mouth. One for Beecher's. Do you have a favorite grilled cheese spot? Melt Shop? Oh, one for Melt Shop. <laughs> After asking the people of New York where- To be honest, how different can they all be from each other? Because essentially it's toasted bread with cheese and butter on the outside. Like, maybe the type of cheese that's used? Did they get their favorite grilled cheese? It was our turn to find our favorites. Our first stop, Murray's Cheese. Hi, so welcome to Murray's Cheese here in the West Village in New York City. Murray's Cheese offers over 300 kinds of cheeses and a variety of specialty items. At the corner of the store, the shop has a grilled cheese counter. Wow. Our grilled cheese is probably among the best in New York City because of three factors. I think it's the quality and then mix of cheeses that we use, nice, the amount thick of bread. butter that we use to cook the sandwich, and then the flat top griddle that we use um, gives it a really nice, even golden brown crust. It does so look the Murray's melts are our best seller. We sell aesthetic. about 150 of those per week. Uh, but then we also have up to 20 other types of sandwiches and grilled cheeses that you can choose from. We start by taking two slices of Orwasher's sourdough Pullman. In our Murray's milk, we have New York cheddar, Fantina, Fantal, and then a red wax gouda. And then we will take melted butter, whole butter, and then put a little on the bottom of the grilled cheese press. I swear, this sandwich better not be more than $5. If it's more than $5, I think they're getting ripped off. And brush it over the top of the sandwich. Uh, yeah, we use a lot of butter. Cut it in half, wrap it up, and serve it to the customer. Come when on. the customers take a bite of the grilled cheese, it's usually just a big smile. I mean, it goes back to the nostalgic factor. It, it just makes everyone feel happy and It and does look so tasty. I just want to know how much it is. Look at the gooey. For me man, specifically, this, this place has already like a place in my heart because this was the best grilled cheese that I had when I was in college. So, but <laughs> I can tell you that I haven't had this grilled cheese since I was in college. But from what I remember, it was the best, and I hope it is still the best. We you know, Murray's is really a legend. It's a legend in the office, it's a legend in New York City, in the world, but I have never had one of their grilled cheese sandwiches before, generally because I stay away from cheese. That smell, <sighs> the moment to soak it in. <laughs> That's a good smell. Oh. Oh. 
It's crazy. The, the stretch must come from the mozzarella. And the crunch. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh my god. That cheese melts in your mouth. It's better than what I had in college. I like how the cheese is still very mild and not like overwhelmingly like salty. Right. And it's not, it's not like those cheeses that have like that filmy taste either. Right. The whole, the whole thing is a very mild taste, I would say. It's all about the texture, I think. It's the pillowiness of the cheese, the crunchiness of the bread, and the familiarity the of that taste. It's like your childhood grilled cheese, but times a million. And like, just look at the sheer amount of cheese. That's it's inside. huge. Okay. That I mean, as I love cheese, but that would have me, my gas would be out of control. You would not want to be sat next to me <laughs> after I finish eating that. Oh, makes it the best in my book. I mean, Unreal. look at that. So it much. So <laughs> that was comfort food at its finest. Absolutely. That yeah. was worth every, every calorie. Yeah, it was absolutely <laughs> worth it. I want to come back here on a rainy day. I want to come back here on a sunny day too. I want to eat that whenever I'm having a craving for cheese and bread. That will just absolutely satisfy it for you. Tell me Hands how much down. it is. That's the one. One more bike for the road and then we're going to hit it. Oh, that's all you, Rob. I'm hurting already. Our second stop, Clinton Hall. If anyone knows how much, please let me know. Because the one I had in school was, I think it was like one pound thirty. So that's about one pound, one dollar sixty cents. This surely can't be more than five bucks because it's New York. It probably is, right? <laughs> Clinton Hall is equipped with fun games to go with this equally uh, fun Jenga. food option. Love it. In fact, it's the birthplace of the fondue burger and the WTF waffles. What is that? So of course its take on grilled cheese is just as innovative. Wow. I love how they've arranged it like that. There's nothing wrong with a, a grilled cheese. Everybody loves grilled cheese. But we wanted to use a donut and create something really spectacular and very visual. A donut, I feel, can do anything. It could be a grilled cheese, it could be a burger, it could even be a better bagel. So we just wanted to use a donut in our oh, in one of our dishes, and that's yes. how we came up with the donut. Is that tomato cheese. sauce? We use glazed donuts, slice them in half, then we roll them on butter on both slices. We wow, place them on the grill. We're gonna load up the shredded mozzarella cheese on top. Then we cover them with lids so the cheese gets nice and melty. This is our homemade tomato soup. It's a four hour tomato soup that just reduces. This thing is basically a standard banana hook and the cheese should start dripping down into the bowl of soup. And basically what it is is the sweetness of uh, the donut plus the dripping melting cheese into Chef Darrell's bowl of uh, homemade tomato soup is a, uh, it's like a food explosion in your mouth. Yeah, I'm sure the combination of flavors here will work because like he said, you've got a bit of everything. Hopefully the glaze isn't too sweet because then that would kind of overpower everything else. Who do you think is gonna win or lose? Oh, Jenga? Oh, I'll win. How will it stand up to the actual classic grilled cheese, you know? Cause like you and I both love the, the crusty tr corner bit of like- a I saw some sourdough. crusty corners on that thing. It's a I think circle. It's a, a circle <laughs> is one long corner. And therefore, it will have crusty corners all the way around. <gasps> ah. I challenge anyone who meets me in future, I challenge you to a game of Jenga. I am genuinely really good at Jenga. Oh, it's a showstopper. You gotta be fast when you're pulling out the bricks. Cheese ball? Yeah, let's do cheese ball. We're ripping apart our friendship. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. Emily, you are right. There is one big corner. I bet that mouthful is going to be so good. 
think they specifically chose mozzarella because it's a very mild cheese and, and everything stretchy. else is so overpowering. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, I would have kind of wanted the classic like American or cheddar cheese. Mm. It's clear to me that the tomato soup is meant to go with a sandwich. It's very thick. It's, a, it's like a thick marinara. They don't There's sound a overly it's keen the on it. famous donut grilled cheese because this is unlike anything you could find somewhere else. Yeah. It's very unique. Yeah, I don't think Our they were fans stop, of that one. Beach. And to be honest, I if out of the two so far, I would I wouldn't be picking that one. I'd be picking the first one. Sure's handmade cheese. What about you guys? Let me know what you out of the two so far. Is what is that? One of the is that leading cheese? artisanal cheese manufacturers in uh, looks like goat cheese. So we are uh, a premium cheese manufacturer based in Seattle and New York City. In uh, New York City, we goat's make cheese. our flagship cheese, the Cheddar Gruyere, that we age oh. out for about 15 months. So we are absolutely known for our cheese, just straight up. But in addition to that, our world's best mac and cheese and our famous grilled cheeses. We offer about six different grilled cheeses. Most popular is for sure the original, just the straight up cheese. This is our two slices of our sourdough whole wheat bread. I've noticed a lot of these places are using sourdough bread. I love sourdough bread, but I mean, sometimes a good old fashioned hearty white bread with a grilled cheese, I think is, a, is the best. It's what I used to have in school. Maybe it's nostalgia. So two slices of our flagship handmade cheese and one slice of our Just Jack cheese. Then we simply just put the top on. And once the sandwich is assembled, it goes on the grill. And we don't use any oil or fats or butter at all. No butter. No butter, no oil, because it doesn't need it. Simply because the cheese has such a good fat content to it, it's got so much flavor mm. that you want that kind of crisp, you know, simplistic bread to really embrace the power uh, of the cheese. I don't know, I don't know. When you first take a bite into our traditional grilled cheese, you're gonna get hit right away with this kind of sweet, nutty, salty combination of... I can't lie, it looks kind of dry, don't you think? Ooey gooey savoriness. Oh my gosh, this, I'm already partial to this because I love sourdough bread. That is a West Coast classic, and you know because this is from Seattle, they're gonna be using great sourdough bread. What's also pretty remarkable is that they aren't using any oil or butter, and they're getting this beautiful brown yes. crust. So you know that's all coming from the cheese. This is entirely about the cheese flavor and nothing else. Ugh, this is like crunch. a grown-up adult grilled cheese because you're getting like notes of Gruyere, which gives that like nutty, nutty flavor. And <laughs> What's the Gruyere? younger I'm like Jack Gruyere. cheese kind of like adds to that fat. And I think that's the reason why they don't need any oil or butter. Yeah. The thing about this sandwich to me is that it's, it's really simple, yet yeah, there's a real complexity of flavors. And that's just brought out by the simplicity of the bread and, and you know, they don't use too many types of cheese. You can just taste that handmade cheese inside of there. Man, I can't lie, man. I, I'm getting hungry right Melt now. Shop. Ooh. Melt Shop is a uh, fast casual restaurant. Uh, we serve melted sandwiches, grilled Ooh. cheeses, tater tots, chicken tenders, and milkshakes. Number one seller by volume is our classic grilled cheese. Oh, um, I love that and color. I think that's because it's the most approachable option. It reminds me of Red Leicester, like a UK cheese we have here. Really, really full flavor, deep flavor. And it's the thing that everyone's super familiar with. I like to think it, our, our grilled cheese is the best in New York City, specifically for, for two reasons. One, our ingredient quality is amazing. Uh, we use Orwasher's Bread, one of the oldest bakeries in town. And our, our cheese is incredible. We use a New York State aged cheddar, um, but also our process is really special. Um, the way we, we cook our sandwiches, we get this unbelievable crispy exterior with this really kind of pillowy interior. Um, and I think that's what makes our sandwich super special. The classic is I like I country white bread, salted butter, two slices of American cheese. Country white bread, not sourdough. Yes, get in there, man. He's on one side, two slices of New York State cheddar on the other. I'm gonna find this place when I'm in New York. Oh my God, look at that. 
the pole. Na 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 The bread is crunchy on the outside but fluffy in the middle. That's what's killer about this grilled cheese. This cheese combination is the flavor profile that puts me right back at home when I was like right. That's six. A, because the American cheese is how I make grilled cheese at home, it's my mom made grilled cheese at home. I love American cheese and grilled cheese. And I guess my palate is stubborn because American cheese <laughs> at the end of the day is one of the best cheeses, especially yeah. for grilled cheese. Yeah. Cheddar and American cheese, they just go together like me and you go together. <laughs> okay, one more, one more bite. I've never tried American cheese. Like, unless it's the cheese that you get in the slices. You know, in those packs that come with like 10 slices of cheese. Is that American cheese? If so, I've had that, but I've never actually bought a packet that says American cheese. Does it, does it taste like cheddar? What does it taste like? <laughs> Cheese is in New York City. Um, we have them written down on our phones and it's reveal time. I have a feeling ours are going to be a little bit different. I think I know exactly what hair is going to fit. I think I know which one. All right, well, we'll see about that. Right, ready? Three, Three two, two, one. Uh, I, I forgot yes, which I ones are which. I knew it, exactly. Hair and love Murray's. Emily loved Beecher's. <laughs> well, let's explain why. Okay. I was Beecher's who's making I love Beecher's because it was definitely on the lighter side of the grilled cheese. The one with no butter. All that oil I and see. extra butter and all of that, it really allowed the cheese to shine. And I like that because as someone who's not a frequent dairy eater, it was just a little more on the mild side and a little more palatable for me. For me, I loved Murray's for the exact polar opposite reason. <laughs> I loved the fact yes. that Murray's just really piled on that butter. Yeah. Also, that crust, unbelievable. It was really really spectacular. And that cheese was exactly the flavor profile that I ate growing up. You know, that kind of like cheddar, um, oh, American To be cheese. honest, they yeah, all look fantastic. Like kind of I can't lie to you. Yeah, it was like what you had as a kid, but elevated. My least I favorite was probably the, the donut one, one though. And listen, all grilled cheeses at the end of the day just taste all delicious. Of them. All it's, just, of them. it's just bread and cheese melted together. Like what could go wrong? You absolutely cannot go wrong. And when you're having the best ones in New York City, it's like the time of your life. Let exactly. me tell you. So now that we've revealed our favorites, we would love to know your favorite. Yeah, out of the two, definitely the one that had the butter because I think that was the one that they didn't use sourdough bread for. I love sourdough bread, but in a grilled cheese, I think uh, the normal fluffiness of a of, of regular white bread would, would be my preference. But as, as they said, all of them probably taste amazing. I probably wouldn't like the one that used the donut. I just don't think you need to introduce sugar into a grilled cheese. I, I eat a grilled cheese because I want the, the sourness, the, the, I want to taste the cheese primarily and the nice buttered bread. I don't want to be invaded by all that sugar. But to be honest, they all looked fantastic. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.